Hello everyone, I am Sangeeta. Welcome back to my channel, Green Fingers. I am adding a new segment from this video. It is going to be a small surprise for all of you. What is this segment? You will find out in this video. Keep watching the uh, video, you will know what the surprise is. As per your request, I have decided to take you to my greenhouse today. It is going to be a greenhouse tour. Actually, it's not a greenhouse. It is a poly house come greenhouse. Uh, we have made a poly house first uh, with a poly sheet on top. And then we have covered the sides with a green net. That is how our uh, greenhouse has been made. Uh, I will take you around and I'll show you how it looks now. Come, let's go and see my greenhouse. We have used uh, GI pipes to build this uh, greenhouse and poly sheet on top. This poly sheet is of 200 microns and it's a five layered uh, poly sheet. Uh, the five layered sheet will last longer. That's why we've used that. And then we have covered the inside again with a white net. Uh, so this is the top, the roofing and the, uh, the post. Uh, of the poly house uh, and I have left uh, two sides open uh, and normally the poly houses are all covered with from all four sides but here I have left these uh, two sides uh, open so that there is uh, air circulation inside I wanted a little bit of air circulation inside I didn't want it to be completely closed so uh, we have left these two sides uh, open so it's partially open and partially closed uh, because it has to suit all our plants. We have orchids, we have foliages. All these plants, has to, uh, uh, the, their needs have to be catered. So that is why we have uh, uh, used this kind of uh, method. One more thing, uh, that this greenhouse is fitted with a misting facility on top. Uh, we have done that uh, so that we can manage our uh, summers. We can uh, regulate humidity inside the greenhouse. Now let's see what are the plants that we have inside the poly house. All the uh, tropical plants, all the indoor plants and all the orchids are uh, here, most of them. Uh, so let's see uh, what are the plants that we have. There's the dracaenas, uh, the orchids. We are 12 videos old in YouTube and the love and the support that you all have given us has been tremendous. Thank you for the support and uh, I have thought of uh, adding your comments in my video and that is a surprise that I was talking about. Uh, I'll read out few comments that uh, I have handpicked from uh, the comment section uh, and I will read it out. Let's see what are the comments that I have picked up for this video. The first comment is uh, 
from Aiza and Zia's world. It's come under our video New Blooms. It says what a collection you have. Really amazing the way of your presentation. Also really appreciable. I think they are small uh, little children. Uh, thank you so much for your comment. One orchid is bloomed here which you have not seen. Uh, it's a purple color orchid. And then our Sp Spanish moss has been split. Uh, one portion I have put it in a, a wooden uh, log. I've hung it here. Uh, and the other portion is here in the same place where it used to be. This is a begonia, which is a cockadema. I've shown this before. Uh, then you can see all the orchids. This is also an orchid that uh, I don't know whether it will come clearly in the camera. Uh, this is a, a deep purple color orchid. Uh, it's very deep. It's like black. This is a new uh, plant. See the color is very bright. It's very deep actually. And all the other uh, orchids have all fallen, the uh, flowers have fallen. I've left it as it is. I've kept it uh, purposely next to this uh, uh, fern, the uh, bird's nest fern, so that the leaves, the flowers will fall inside that and it will get some uh, manure, some nutrition from those uh, flowers when it uh, degrades. So I've left all that like that. So it keeps falling in that and it gets some nutrition from that. So it's all left there. And uh, then you can see our uh, begonias here. These are the begonias and the African violets. A Dyskidia here. I'll speak about this plant in one video. It's a very beautiful, interesting plant.
the next comment is from Sitara Farhad. Uh, she says, uh, your content is amazing, quality and informative, waiting eagerly for more videos. Thank you Sitara for your lovely comment. Then a new orchid has bloomed. This is called blush and the color of the orchid is also uh, resembles blush. So I think that is why the name blush. Uh, it's a, a new bloom which I don't think you have seen. So that and then our other few orchids. There is an anthurium, a magnificum. Uh, yes, this vanda again, which you have not seen. This is an yellow vanda that has bloomed. It's again a huge flowers. It's bloomed somewhere around 15 to 20 days back. The flowers are old but still all intact. The Hoya, Hoya Carnosa, spider plants, all these philodendrons on this side. Adeniums, few of them have bloomed. Uh, we have very few adeniums actually, uh, three, four different colors, that's all. This is a, a deep color flower, a deeper shade. The lighter one is here, the lighter flower, it's a light pink, this is a different shade. The other ones have not yet bloomed. I can have green fingers, you can have them too. Plant something today and prove me right. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.